technical difficulties. I am not very much of the live streaming I've been doing lately. I am not uh, uh, a professional. All right, so we're gonna try to dive right into it today. I'm running low on pre-made um, uh, pre-made paintings here. Uh, so what I have left, the creepy sheepy and uh, the hacky mask. Uh, so I think we're going to do this one first, because I think we'll be able to jump into it a little easier. This one is going to take a few hours. I don't know. It's got a lot of pencil on it, so I'm actually not sure how much uh, how much things change based on the volume of pencil uh, that you add. Um, so uh, it will be an interesting thing to kind of experiment with when we get there. Um, uh, but, um, yeah. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, hold on one second, I'm just going to see if I can at least do something on the Discord here. Um, streaming. Go live, sure, why not. Um, alright. I think everything is streaming everything now. Uh, I apologize for the folks on Discord, you're probably not going to be able to see full screen edition of what I'm doing. Um, but, uh, um, uh, yeah, hold on one second, cool, 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 um, uh, yeah, all right. Anti-isolation stream. I hope my laptop does not explode. Um, I will be having the chat group, the social social distancing coping mechanisms chat open uh, on the Discord server. Uh, so that's all for you, um, uh, uh, all of you sword class folks. Um, here's the hoping. Um, all right. Um, let me grab my coffee and then, uh, pin this down. We're gonna start. I can't. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee. Uh, now, I know this is something I mentioned before, but I think I actually do my best creative work while sitting up, laying on the floor. That's actually part of the reason when I was looking for apartments, I wanted to make sure that I found a place that had enough space. Like, I knew I was either going to have to do like some type of studio or roommate situation. Um, but I wanted to make sure that there would always be space for me to lay on the floor. This is the hardest part for me of using my current uh, space is that there's a little bit of space for these things on the floor. But I, I don't feel like I can just belly flop down and start kicking. I mean, not really kicking, but you know, like, really hopping into it. One of my water brushes is uh, Annie, probably uh, eh, 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 eh. It's somewhere. Oh, my brush cleaner, that's important. It is somewhere, 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 somewhere. I will dig it up for tomorrow's stream, which might be a PM stream. Um, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, I know a lot of different folks are doing these things now, so uh, which is great. Um, I'm glad that so many people are using a technology that I personally find to be kind of a pain in the ass for the most part, um, to keep in touch and communicate. Um, uh, actually, I have art tape. Let me actually just tape this down. Hooray. Oh, there's, there's the light. There we go. We got brushes going. I'm going to use a little bit of art tape. Normally, in times where, you know, places like Blick would be open, um, I would use a ton of tape, and I would actually create a frame of tape all the way around the piece. Um, this would really, really ensure that there's no buckling going on on the paper, because um, again, when you're, uh, when you're using paper that is, I mean, you always do have to clamp water paper down, but I'm using kind of... I, I'm not going to say student grade because I buy a little higher than that, um, especially when I'm doing things to sell. Um, but uh, unless you're buying very, very, there, there's some really, really, really good 
watercolor paper out there. Um, very, very expensive um, that I kind of, at this level in my quote unquote watercolor career, or my experimentation with it, only do uh, uh, make very rarely, uh, buy very rarely, and that's usually when I'm making a gift for someone. Um, but, uh, so when you're not buying this kind of more expensive paper, what I find with the other paper, this paper is that it tends to bow uh, more than um, like a heavier watercolor. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is kind of, uh, as you can see with this, maybe I should put another light in here. Um, do I have a light to bring in? Um, it always is nice to have just a little bit. I know the window light in here is great, but it's not not doing it for us today, is it, folks? This light's a little warmer than I would prefer to have going on, but um, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine, 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 fine. Uh, all right. I apologize for the mess behind me. I am still moving into my apartment. I've been very bad about, uh, you know, putting things away and organizing my life. But, uh, you know, I think that part of that is just kind of the depression that is, uh, I wouldn't say straight depression, but the kind of depressive tendencies that come from this kind of lockdown. All right. So, in terms of brushes, I'm going to kind of stick with this medium-large brush. Um, I, mm, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's live bold. I'm going to take my large brush, and I'm going to try to slop in all of this, the highlights. Let's do it. Mm -hmm.
Uh, one thing I will do uh, starting in future future uh, little painting sessions is I'll start creating Facebook groups um, in addition to like my announcements on various platforms. I know that some folks ask because it's, it is hard to remember, even though we're all kind of on lockdown, we're all stressed out, we all have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of different live streams to watch and participate in, or just, uh, it can get really easy to lose track of time, and it is nice to have a little reminder system. So, I will, um, I will schedule uh, some events and post them. Um, this has all been very helpful for me to kind of remember, um, well, to do art. It's uh, one of the problems I've been having is I get so washed up and, oh, should I be watching the news right now? Should I be listening to this or that? Or what, what's the best outlet for any of these things? And I've been kind of getting lost in the clickhole of the internet. And my goal for the rest of this week is to start fighting that and um, do kind of um, set up maybe like an alert for emergency news. But I just don't think there's a lot I'm going to gloss from the news uh checking it any more than I normally would, so, um, I don't need any more damn think pieces, that's not helpful. We'll do a write along too at some point because I know I need to sit down and uh, sit down and get some writing done. I did a little bit of writing last night. It wasn't much, but it was bad. it was more than zero. And that felt good. If uh, people who are familiar with the Nano Rhymo people, Nano Rhymo people, uh, they are doing a like a write in place kind of thing. Like a, they they are a charity that. Um, uh, does a lot of really good work in terms of writing and English education in schools. Uh, and they do this novel writing contest every year. And they're having, um, uh, I think, a, a special one where they're going to try to get people to write 50,000 words in 30 days. And it's starting a little early because of the lockdown. Oh man, I can't wait for all the think pieces about, like, after this is all over, like, how streaming technology saved us from our own loneliness. Uh, just wait. Every medium in Atlantic article in the Atlantic is going to be, uh, uh, I don't know, gone bananas. When, and media, yeah, medium in Atlantic articles are going to be about how we owe a debt to Google or Livestream or something. Technology that once separated us now pulls us together. I can see the obnoxious headlines in my... In, already. Don't worry folks, there's still plenty to hate about the internet.
the next That's cool. It like pops up a thing. That's neat. That's very pretty purple, Peter. Thank you. Fine blues and purples, and to a lesser degree, reds are kind of a palette I come back to. I just find them easier to work with. I don't know why. Maybe because they're richer in color or something. Maybe I just like them. I think my hard drive just clicked. That's not good. <laughs> uh, that's no point, though. No. I don't. It's like, please don't die. Hey, this is the wrong time for that. I have to watch out for when I'm doing these tr uh, I get tracings, these kind of pencilings of um, other work is I need to work on con line control and instead of creating these really like you can kind of see it here these like thicker lines unless I'm really really looking for that shadow instead of creating these lines I want to try to focus on creating just shadow like creating shadow areas more consistent shadow areas like this line should be the same consistency as this fill there shouldn't be this like uh, cartoonish line unless i'm specifically trying to create that so that's something put that in my little little book of things to take away from this piece and there's no way to like blend it back out again like once the thicker line is there it's really i've been finding it's very difficult um like, like you can you can blend it out to a certain point, but that, uh, so the amount of water sometimes that it takes just kind of starts ruining the paper, or or kind of giving you these um, uh, these kind of dried. It, it starts giving like funky brush impressions on the paper, and it's almost worse. If that makes sense. What's up?
Hello. I, he I hear a bunch of people saying hello. Hello? Hello? Working? I, I think so. Probably. Also, it's probably not helpful that um, there's a delay going on because uh, not just Discord, but also the um, the software that I'm using um, has like a because it's the um, broadcasting software for that's uh, capturing the screen, and I'm pumping it out through my cell phone to both YouTube, Facebook, and whatever Discord is using. Uh, so I'm sure there's some type of massive ser like I'm just destroying the ser like any hope of having a. A true live stream. It seems to be working pretty decently in, in Discord. Um, or at least better in Discord for me personally than um, how it was streaming on YouTube. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah. The YouTube lags real hard. I think that's also a demand issue there. Um, yeah, I mean, everything is under stream right now. There's a delay, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm probably not talking in sync to the picture that's on, uh, the screen am I I wish it was a bit easier way for me to do screen capture stuff um, but all these broadcasting softwares are either cost money or windows only um, or want you to use specific services uh, like oh this is the one that only works on twitch And I don't like the idea. Like, I think a lot of these services you have to have some type of account for to view them. And I just don't think that's a, a positive thing right now. Oh, that red. The red's really popping. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a little moth, man. A little, 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 uh, a little intense. I'm gonna try to. Uh, Dina, are you looking at both the YouTube stream and the Discord stream? It's 
It's like a 30 second delay for me, wow. Did uh, did did you hear that question? There's a Discord stream. Oh, okay, okay. So you're looking. Wait, because you're doing. Yeah. Um, it's a uh, streaming video on the Discord as well as uh, audio. The if you're looking at the audio on the YouTube and doing the Discord, there's going to be a big delay. Uh, because if, if the YouTube is like wicked delayed. Uh, some, and the Discord, I did like a screen sharing thing. Well, the, I think well, I think what's happening is that Dean is looking at the YouTube, uh, the YouTube stream, and then um, hearing the Discord audio. Yeah, because um, she was in the. She's not in the Discord right now. Oh, she's using the the web version or something. Uh, yeah, I guess she doesn't have the the, the desktop app. Mm. Um, so that's what I'm using right now because I'm at my uh, computer, so it might not work on the mobile app. Uh, to, to be honest, I haven't used the mobile app very much. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was I've been using it just a little bit, it, basically as a messenger app. So uh, I haven't tried to do any of the video stuff when people have been streaming their games and things. So. Okay, so maybe she'll try that. Okay, cool. Work. Cool. Yeah, because um, I can see, like... I am very impressed by the Discord streaming, I will say that, because it's just straight-up screen capture, it's not trying to run it through this broadcasting software, and it's like, yeah, wow. It's, it's optimized for, like, sharing your uh, gameplay, so... Yes, it's... It was built for this. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is, uh, whatchamacallit, small potatoes. Yeah, exactly. I wish that, uh, there's got to be a way to just share straight up like the webcam through it. That's something I got to figure out. Yeah, that I'm not sure. Um, I know you can video call people. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that means like video call. Oh, Dina says that my, um, I'm echoing through on the YouTubes. Oh, whoops. So, sorry. If it's better, I'll just mute my, uh, microphone so I'm not dorking up your, uh, screen. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Well, we're, everyone, we're all working our way through this. I am not a, pro, like I said, I'm not a pro streamer, but, uh, uh, we will figure out some solutions. Maybe they'll do uh, some Discord releases and that kind of thing. Um, or Discord editions versus YouTube editions, I don't know. Why can't there just be one app that unifies all of this?
crashed in the street screaming that the government won't let him sit down at McDonald's. Sorry, buddy. It's for your own good. Alright, this is almost done. Alright, so this is one. Oh, no, this is the spot, dang it. Another one of those controversial things uh, in which you have people who say it's okay to sit there and they want you to wet your entire canvas and then come back to it, wait for it, and then once it's dry, hop in. Other people want like dry paper, uh, I, I, uh, and then like wet it all down later. Some people are just like never wet it down. Wet it down with a single color. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have enough experience to weigh in. Um, so I'm kind of experimenting with a bunch of different stuff. Um, so in this one, what I've done is uh, I did not pre-wet the paper. But I w would go in. I've gone in and um, uh, wet it afterwards. I did not actually. I've, uh, it's interesting. I'd use only the colored pencils to apply the chroma. Uh, the... the uh, and um, just use the, the brushes to move the paint around. Um, and um, see how it looks when it's dry. It always dries lighter than when you put it down, so uh, this might be a pretty light piece, which is fine. Um, as long as it's still in there. Uh, has some of like the, 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 light, the dark uh, shadowing that I'm looking for. Um, and I think that the uh, next thing I'm, I might do is go back into my mix, my um, my uh, other colored colors there, uh, and maybe try to add some more shadow just in that back area there. Maybe like a really really deep red red purple behind everything. Um, but we'll see. I'm gonna get I'm gonna need to uh, get some water. Yeah.
Alright, that's all right, so this is really, really wet, and um, this is going to take a hot minute to dry. Um, I think uh, we're going to call it a little short today, uh, but this has been really fun. I'm going to, uh, another th uh, I have a lot of work to do today, as folks know that I'm also, um, I, I do classes at Story Class NYC, uh, and today would normally be one of our fencing days. And so what I would like to do, uh, so what I've been doing is working with Sword Class NYC to put together a bunch of online sword classes for folks, and I think that, um, so tonight I'm going to be uh, independently streaming on uh, either YouTube or Discord or something, uh, a um, kind of an online class, like kind of an online class along, it's not going to be any formal class, but there'll be kind of a guided discussion about some uh, some material that I've posted, so those who know, know. Uh, I don't want to bore everyone else with some sword nerdery. Um, but I'm working on developing some online classes through Teachable with them, and during that time, uh, so right now I am kind of rushing to write a very, very large curriculum in a very short amount of time. Um, it's not going to all come out at once, clearly, uh, but I do feel as though um, we're going to be present, uh, I'm going to hopefully be in the studio, uh, not my studio, their studio, uh, as early as Thursday, um, and, uh, I'm hoping to, um, get those rolling, so, um, I'm gonna call, the, uh, uh, the whole point being, uh, I'm going to, uh, kind of maybe stick to this one painting today so we can do creepy sheepy tomorrow, <laughs> um, and then from there, uh, a lot of what I'm going to be doing is probably, uh, uh, we're gonna be creating a bunch of stuff from scratch, which is going to be, really fun. Um, it's going to be more time, uh, but I definitely think that it's going to be uh, uh, very entertaining, at least for me, to kind of collectively go uh, through some things. If people really want to uh, help me out, uh, everyone knows I've been doing, uh, as a lot of people know, I've been doing these um, these scream projects, these portraits of, uh, uh, these portraits of these screaming masks. Uh, if you are interested, please send me uh, a, a selfie of you screaming. <laughs> Did you take a, all that uh, coronavirus uh, or lockdown or whatnot kind of anxiety and put it into uh, a single scream and either take a video or a, um, a, a video or a, um, um, a still selfie of you screaming or yelling uh, or, or whatnot and uh, send it to me either on the YouTube uh, through email, through Discord, um, uh, I will, hold on one second, I'm gonna post my Discord, uh, the young kids in the sword class got me under the Discord, and, uh, it's, it's really nice, uh, but anyway, I post my Discord number on this YouTube channel, I will start posting it around, it is, e is becoming easier for you to reach me on Discord than it is on Facebook, um, and it's just nicer, um, more simplified and streamed, um, uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, post, send me either email hospeterj at gmail dot com or on the face or post it on my wall or send it to me on Facebook or Twitter. Any of these number of crazy social media things. Um, send me your screams. Um, I'll be posting more links. I'm gonna start trying to get my portfolio developed. Uh, um, I have so many projects going on right now. It feels good. A little scary. Um, I have, yeah. Uh, over the, uh, I'm also going to say, like, over the next kind of, um, the next couple weeks, um, as you can see, I have this Ko-Fi page thing going, uh, I was laid off because of, uh, because of the whole virus situation. We're hoping to return to work in late April, um, uh, so if folks hear about video editor or producer work out there, please let me know. Until then, um, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to, I've been very humbled by the support I've gotten so far, and I'm asking if you are enjoying these, or uh, in general just want to kind of um, uh, uh, help contribute to future versions of these, um, uh, including some really, really nice pieces uh, when I start sneaking back into my studio. Um, um, uh, please, please hit me up on the Ko-Fi. Um, I promise I'll do you all good, all right? Uh, Y'all are great, and I look forward to more of these. Bye-bye.